Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best bookshelf speakers. Starting at number 5. Kanto YU6 MB Powered. Hi Fi listening is particularly satisfying when you've got the right speakers working with the right record player or turntable. Finding this ideal matchup can be difficult though, which is why we're glad that the talented minds at Kanto have developed the YU6 model. At first glance, these look like just about every other pair of affordable bookshelf speakers out there, but the YU6 houses an entire hub of inputs and outputs. Oh, and chief amongst these ports is the hard-to-find built-in phono preamp for wiring up your record player. This means you can interface your turntable directly with the Kanto YU6 bookshelf speakers, so no worrying about integrating a separate amplifier or receiver. Decibel output maxes out at 200 watts and hovers around 100 watts RMS for the average listening volume, which means these puppies can get plenty loud for whatever listening space you need to fill. We can also thank the YU6 5.25-inch Kevlar driver, 1-inch silk dome tweeter, and handcrafted MDF cabinetry for giving these speakers extra power and personality. Coming at number 4. Sonos Era 100. Wi-Fi music streaming is a next-level experience. And when it comes to Wi-Fi equipped bookshelf speakers, Sonos is one of the top names in the game. About as intuitive as plug-and-play operation gets, the Sonos Era 100 is the company's next-gen version of its Sonos One speakers, and they're everything we could want from the brand's latest and greatest. Considering the Era 100's woofer is 25% larger than the Sonos One's, we expected some fairly big sound from the speaker, but in our testing of the product, we were utterly blown away by its decibel delivery. Listeners can expect well-balanced mids, crystalline treble, and punchy low-end performance. Sure, there's some distortion at extremely high volumes, but considering how much reach the era is capable of at only 60% or 70% volume, we doubt you'll need to crank it past 11, if you know, you know. At number 3. Horfdale Diamond. Horfdale doesn't beat around the bush, and we appreciate all the straight shooters of the world. This is an audio company that builds and engineers speakers to give you incredible sound, and they're not going to cost you too much either. In the case of the Wharfdale Diamond 12.1 bookshelf speakers, the brand continues to score big in the quality department, while keeping our bank accounts intact. This time around, Wharfdale is working with mic-infused polypropylene, incorporating the materials into the Diamond 12.1's 5-inch clarity woofer. This helps the cone to maintain its shape and to respond to audio signals as quickly as possible, meaning you won't have to worry about missing a single detail in your favorite songs. At only 15 pounds each, these speakers aren't too heavy to move around either. Seeing as we're working with passive wiring though, we assume wherever you first place the Diamond 12.1 is where they'll continue to live for years, as long as you keep them in good condition, which means giving them a cleaning every once in a while. Unlike other items on our list, this also means you won't find features like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity on these speakers either. The Diamond 12.1 are best paired with an amplifier that dishes out 20 to 100 watts per channel, and the speakers sound great across a wide range of music genres. But what about home theater usage? Number 2 of my list. Audio Engine A1. We love Audio Engine products here at Digital Trends, so there was no way we weren't going to feature something from the company's catalog in our bookshelf speaker roundup. And what better badge of honor to fly home with than best budget-friendly powered speakers? At only half a foot tall, the Audio Engine A1MR deliver the kind of sound we'd expect from much larger speakers, and that's all thanks to the type of engineering and build that go into these bad boys. In terms of audio, we think you'll be surprised at how much bass and high-frequency articulation the A1MRs can pull off. That's also thanks to the cabinetry and drivers, which include a 3 quarters inch tweeter and a 2 to 3 quarters inch aramid woofer for each speaker. As far as physical connections go, you'll have access to a 3.5 mm auxiliary port and an LFA output if you feel like adding a subwoofer. The former is good enough for plugging in a phone or tablet, but where the A1MR truly shine is in the wireless department. Once you've downloaded the Audio Engine Control app, 
for iOS and Android, you'll be able to add the A1MR to your Wi-Fi network, which unlocks a bevy of music streaming options. And number 1. Bowers Wilkins 607. When it comes to audio royalty, Bowers & Wilkins is a brand that deserves all the prestige it can get, not that it's wanting for it. From its amazing floor-standing speakers to its subs and satellites, B&W's dedication to quality and performance always shines through. And as far as bookshelf speakers go, we can't think of a better name to call our favorite. The overall sound staging on the S3S is wide and immersive. In execution, the BNW 607 S3S are best used as hi-fi speakers, but with a little finesse, they work pretty well with most home theater setups, too. When it comes to music playback, we would be careful with genre matching, though. BNW speakers are stellar for jazz, classical, and vocally driven singer-songwriter tracks. This isn't to say you can't headbang to a little Metallica with them, but you may be a bit disappointed by the 607 S3's lack of aggression, adding a subwoofer can help with that. These are exquisite and refined bookshelf speakers that do quite a nice job at shining a light on your music. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.